Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial for importing objects into the Real Flight Simulator. This tutorial is going to focus on the very beginning of the process, let, um, importing an object into 3ds Max so that you can go and edit it and change things and then eventually export it and do all the rest of the stuff needed to get it into the Real Flight Simulator. So I'm just going to go over a few basic file types of importing. It's really simple and stuff and um, just for completeness sakes on the tutorial is basically why I'm doing this but um, let's get started here. So pretty much you can you can hit open or you can hit import here and do import. Uh, open is simple enough and it, it works. Uh, so let's go to our tutorial directory here. Uh, let's start with FBX and then we'll do the object file type later. Um, FBX, um, you can op we're opening this up now. The open command here starts in default of max files, so select it so that you're viewing all files. Um, and the FBX file I got just contains this one, so I think that's uh, pretty standard there. And you can click on that uh, and click open. Now 3ds Max comes up with its FBX import um, script type thing, I think it is. So Pretty much it gives you a whole bunch of stuff about the file and everything. You can change some of these settings down here if you want to. Uh, but this is a pretty basic one. You can convert units if you need to. However, um, I can show you, I'll show you a little bit how to make sure your units are correct once you import it. Uh, so you can just click automatic for now. But you can click feet or meters or keep it at centimeters too, which is default for 3ds Max. But we're just going to leave everything as default because it's pretty good for now. Uh, you can hit OK. Uh, now the FBX um, one file type you can see here does include texture. So we have texture on there. Uh, and the cool thing about it is let's pull up our directory here. Um, we will now notice that there's a new folder here. Uh, so it creates a folder here and inside the folder are the three texture files for that. So that was not here when we started but 3ds created that when we imported the FBX file. Uh, so now let's, uh, it's in here, right? And it's great, let's maximize this window, but to make sure it's like our right size, right? Uh, we wanna do that. It is nice that FBX automatically updates this as a one mesh thing, as I'm assuming it came like that, um, which it might, you might have to merge some meshes if it didn't. Um, but that's a cool feature here. I think it does come with one mesh. All right, anyways, to measure, uh, go over here to the modules modifiers tab. Uh, no, not the modifiers tab, but these tabs over here, command tabs, I think they're called. And go to the utilities, and you can go down here to measure, and the object was already selected, otherwise it'll ask you to select one. And this will tell you what it is. So I already have my units centered, or set to feet and inches. If you do need to set your units, Go up to the customize menu and go down to unit setup and click that and you can set your units in here. Uh, so I set mine to feet and we see that it's only 29 feet tall. Communication towers are way taller than that. So we're going to do a simple scale command and we're going to scale this until it is about 130 feet, give or take. All right, and then it scales it and Bam, you got one. Um, and then this should be able to, you can start editing it and, and doing all the cool stuff that I talk about later in the tutorials to that. Cool, so that's the FBX. Let's now do the object one. You can still use open. We don't need to save this currently. Go to our tutorial directory, object. Again, you gotta select the all files down here. Now you'll notice there's a lot more file types in here. We have the object file here, which is great. There's also a MTL, which I'm guessing is material object, uh, model object, I'm not sure um, what it stands for, but uh, that is actually needed for the object file. It will give you like a warning that says it's not there and it won't import um, the textures correctly if you don't have this here. And then it also does need the three textures. Um, with the object file, but hopefully if you exported it as an object file, you've got these texture files with it. Uh, so as long as all these here are the textures, so this is the number of textures that came with the object, but if the object created 
didn't have as many, then obviously you would just need however many it is. If you don't have any of these, it'll tell you that you don't have it, and then it won't display that type of texture. Uh, but we do have them all here. These are all three of them that was built with this model. So we're just going to click on the object file. We're going to open that up. Now there's a different import window that comes up here for object importing. Uh, and here's a cool option. You can make sure that it imports as a single mesh, which is which is the better way to go if you're doing for real flight, because in the end you're going to need a single mesh uh, anyways for that. Um, so that's good which is a cool option. There's a whole bunch of other options here. Again, a units to scale converter. So I converted it to feet here, you can see, but um, if you don't, it'll probably in centimeters, so it'll be a lot bigger if it converted centimeters to feet. Um, but anyways, we can still do the scale, as you'll see here in a second. Um, but you can play around with any of these if you feel like you need to. Uh, you can even import it as an editable poly and retriangulate polygons and stuff like that. Um, but I didn't really play around with any of these because it works the way it comes in here this way. So I click import and there we go. Again, we have a tower. Uh, now, if we go here and click our utilities tab, measures already up, you can see that's 893 feet. Um, so we need to scale that way down, probably because of that conversion. Oh, scale. Um, and so we're going to scale that down. Oh, what happened to my errors? And scale it down even some more. Uh, it's about 130. And so there you go. You pretty much have the same object uh, that you did with the object importing, or the FBX import. So just a couple different ways to import those. Um, and then look for the rest of the tutorials on how to get this into real flight. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned.